Hey everyone, so one of the most common questions that I get is what kind of gear are you using? What kind of camera are you using? Another really frequent question that I get too is what kind of camera do you recommend for a beginner? What kind of stuff do you recommend me to get as a beginner? So I actually just went ahead and I created this huge list of everything that I use and also everything that I recommend for a beginner to get. But it's basically just the same stuff I used when I began because it's all great stuff. And I put it all on Amazon so it's all super easy to get to. Okay, so here it is. This is my little Amazon store that I created. So to get to this website, it's just amazon.com slash shop slash Sirdork. It's all right there. Or you could just go to the link in this description of this video or just go to my website. I also have it linked there as well. So basically what I have here is all of the stuff that I use now and all of the stuff that I recommend as a beginner. And I have it all nicely organized. I've got starter camera gear, the camera gear I use now, stuff to use on a shoot, stuff for effects, practical effects, stands, things to hold figures up while you're shooting, lighting, and tripods, which is pretty much all that I can think of as far as stuff that I use. Also, if there's something that you want some recommendations on or things you see me using that I don't explain well, let me know and I'll add it to this store so I can have everything and make this as comprehensive as possible. So let's get started with the first section here, which is the starter camera gear. So right here, this is the camera that I started out with. This is the Canon Rebel T6. Actually, this is the T7, which is almost the same thing, but I added that because it's a little bit newer. This camera is a fantastic camera to get started with. It's also a fantastic camera to continue shooting with for several years down the line. I used this camera for so long. And what's really cool about Amazon is they put all this stuff together in this massive uh, bundle thing. And it actually ends up being sometimes cheaper than buying the camera on its own. So this comes with the camera, the lens, which is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which uh, is a great lens, actually. You can get a lot done with this lens. Comes just stuff, chargers, just everything you basically need. It's just the perfect camera to start out with. It's the perfect camera to to get yourself started on using like a DSLR camera, the full thing. If you're looking to move up from the phone to the camera, it's great. And, and I have a lot of photos that I took with this camera that I really love and I still really love. And I'm gonna have a bunch of them cycling through in the video right now just because it's a great camera. And this is the great, perfect thing to start out with. So the next thing here is this little camera remote. It's so cheap, it's literally $9. You plug it right into the camera and you can have a remote shutter. It has a wire on it, but which is fine. It's not like it's super short or anything. It's the perfect length. And it's so incredibly helpful, especially if you're doing practical effects and you need an extra hand to do things. It's just really a quality of life improvement when you have a remote like this. So yeah, this is right on here. It's the same one I had too. The next thing here is a lens. And so this lens is not like a if you're a beginner, you should get this lens. If you're a beginner, the lens that's on this camera is great, but the lens that I have used so often with this camera is this just basic 50 millimeter, the nifty 50 lens. It's the one that I'm always talking about where you can bring your, uh, your aperture down to f1.8 to get that nice blurry background, which is beautiful. I'm sure if you ask tons of toy photographers and, the, the, and you bring up the nifty 50, they're gonna be like, ah, yes, the nifty 50. So yeah, this is this is a great lens and not a lot of lenses are this price. So that's really cool. So one of the things I added to this Amazon wish list, if you go over here, there's a nice tiny little quotation mark on the side here and it will tell you a little note for me. I left a little note on all of these things. So if you're wondering what I think about one of these, why I should get it, why you should get it, it's I just put a little, little note here, just that this camera is one I started with. It's not only great for a starter camera, but it's a great camera to continue to use for several years. So I added kind of why I added each one of these products onto here too. So um, if you want that little note, it's there too. So as far as the beginner camera gear, it's all right there, that's it. So I did also make this little section here for the camera gear that I use now. So this is a little bit more pricey, but uh, it's gear that I use now and I love it and it's really, really great. But like I said, it's all about preference. You know, you can take amazing photos with this camera and with the last one that I, that I recommended. So I'm using this Sony a7 III, the Sony Alpha. Uh, here's the camera body here and this remote is freaking awesome. It's Bluetooth and it can shoot from far away. It's just super handy. I can use it for recording video too. It's really great. And the two lenses that I'm using are the uh, 40 millimeter f2.5 and the 85 millimeter f1.8. This f1.8 lens, the, the 85 millimeter, has the most beautiful, like, beautiful, gorgeous, juicy, creamy background where you could just get that, oh, the blur in the background is just amazing. Um, if you're interested in the stuff I'm using right now, 
and not necessarily for a beginner or whatever. This is what I'm using right now, and I love this stuff. Okay, so the next section here, the out on a shoot stuff, this is just kind of basic stuff. The knee pads, anytime I go out, I have a knee pad on my right leg because I'm always putting stuff on the ground and I need to get down on the ground. So the knee pads are essential. I love the knee pads. And the hot hands, if you're shooting anywhere where it's kind of cold out, even if it's the, 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 the fall, having those, those hand warmers in your pockets are amazing. So that's, I'm always using those. And then here's just a camera bag. If you ended up getting a camera that is not, uh, didn't come with the bag like I had recommended, there's just a really basic camera bag. Had to be inclusive. It's got everything in there. That's all. Okay, let's get into the effects category right up here. A lot of this stuff you'll probably already recognize like this right here, the drain blaster thing from BAM. This guy, these guys are awesome. <laughs> and actually the guy who owns BAM actually sent me an email once and thanked me for talking about the thing and sent me one of these for free, which is just really cool to think of. Um, so yeah, this is the awesome drain blaster I use all the time for getting, you know, kicking up dirt, kicking up water. I have a whole video on this thing and this is where you get it. It's cheap and it's right here on Amazon. This is the thing, love this thing. And of course right here is atmosphere aerosol so i have it here listed on amazon which if you'd like to get it here on amazon you can but i also do have a special uh, discount code to buy it from their website directly and i have that linked in the description below as well so if you do want to buy it on amazon because you like prime go for it but if you want to save a little bit of cash and use that uh, 15 percent off coupon head to, to the description use that it also helps me out when you use the uh, code as well so it's up to you well, if you need this stuff to get some nice fog in the background or whatever it's just a great photography tool and uh, they're also really great people as well at atmosphere aerosol amazing so just one of these basic these compressed air cans that you get to clean your computer keyboard these are so incredibly helpful when you're just trying to kick up dust or trying to kick up water too but in a more precise way just a little bit you know in the perfect little area um, so nice and this little straw here is so helpful so I yeah, huge rec I definitely recommend getting one of these things just to have they're so helpful and um, you know if you go to Walmart and buy like a two pack of these they're sometimes like $20 it's really expensive but not here on Amazon which is actually kind of cool so here it is and actually this next one here is a little miniature mister which I actually I've never used this but I've gotten a lot of recommendations from people that I know and trust um, and it's just like a really cool way to get like mist I think it's made mostly for like on your face when you're getting all hot in the summer or something and you put water in it and it just mists and shoots out a nice little little fog so you can have that set up especially when you're inside and it sprays like a nice little watery mist um, which is really cool Okay, so this next section here, which is the stands and holding figures in place section. Honestly, I would say this stuff is like essential. This stuff is so incredibly important and luckily it's all really cheap stuff. So the wire, so helpful for either holding the figure up, keeping it floating or something, or just whatever you need to do to keep your figure in place when you're shooting it. And this is a really great strong wire for that. Um, and you could also use the um, the wooden skewers over here that I th these have become my favorite using the wooden skewers I love these things uh, so they basically have the same kind of purpose but sometimes the wires work better and sometimes the wooden skewers work better so it's up to your preference I would recommend getting both just because they're really super handy and of course you know the the blue sticky tack always a good you know when you got to have stuff stick to things or if you need to take the head off of uh, a figure and put it back into place to make it look better um, the sticky tack is handy all the time so handy so honestly all three of these things are a must-have just have them with you whenever you're going for a photo shoot so incredibly handy just make sure to pick them up after you're done if you go outside don't leave them out there because it's really easy to forget small little things outside when you're out for a photo shoot the next section here is the lighting section. A um, lot of great stuff in here and things that I use a lot, things that I use sometimes but are still very important. Number one right here is the, the light reflector. I mean, the light reflector is so huge. Go outside and whenever you want to harness the power of the sun, bounce it against things when you need all extra light. This thing's amazing and they're cheap for a huge, incredibly helpful thing. Number one recommendation for lighting huge huge and over here on the right I have two different loom cubes 
And so Loom Cube is always the number one lighting company that I love and I work with. Uh, and I do have them on here, but also like the same situation with Atmosphere Aerosol, I do also have a discount code to save you if you use it directly on their website. And that's gonna be linked in the description as well. So if you want a Loom Cube and you like Amazon, you have Prime, go for it. But if you wanna save a little bit more cash, and uh, help me out also as well. I have the link in the description for Loom Cube. They've got a ton of different ones. Uh, I'm gonna have a whole Loom Cube video coming out soon next week. And you get the Panel Pro, you've got the Panel Mini, you've got the RGB Panel Go, you've got the Cubes themselves. There's so many fantastic ones to get. Um, so I do have them listed here as well, just to make the whole list comprehensive, but the website is there below as well. So this right here is just one of those little battery powered LED things that uh, are really great for light painting or for just having a nice little bokeh in the background. Uh, they're just really great and this is one changes colors. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one that I've used for years. So it's super handy. And so these next little things here, they're called like balloon lights. I discovered these recently and they're so cool. Like they're just tiny little balls that are these little LED lights and they're so cool like you take out the little thing here and then it lights up and you get a tiny little led thingy which is great if you need to put a little light in a place in a diorama to have just light coming from different areas when you're done with it put the slidey back in and it's good for later so these are just incredibly incredibly helpful and just kind of really cool i didn't know these existed for so long and here's actually one right now just a tiny little led ball and it's pretty bright you know like look at that Okay, and the last section here is the tripod section. So I have three tripods here, and there are three tripods that I use quite often. This Monfrotto Pixie Mini is the one I use pretty much all the time. I've used it for years. It's the perfect one to get nice down low to the ground outside. It's really great. You can stand it up a little bit more and take it out. It's really great and it's decently cheap as well. Um, this next one here is just like it's... I use it for a lot of the same purposes, but sometimes if I need it to be either a little taller or I need it to get it in a weird position, this little bendy tripod one is really good. And it's not like one of those cheap bendy ones. It's a really strong and powerful bendy one. So you can bend it and it still stays very secure. And I, this is one I honestly have been using a lot more often recently. It's really good. And, and this last one is just like a just basic taller tripod also made by the same brand um really really handy you can maneuver it and stuff and a lot of tripods at this size are like really expensive and this one is not you can do a lot with it and it's decently priced and not one of those multi multi hundred dollar ones and i really like this one i really do Okay, so there's one major thing missing that you're probably noticing on this list, and that's fireworks. And yeah, I don't have a way to put fireworks on this list. And it's one of my favorite gear things to use. And I do have a whole video on where to get fireworks and how to get them. Uh, I'll have that linked right here in the description as well. But yeah, I can't put them on Amazon. But if you do want to know how to get fireworks, I've got that video. Everything I know about finding fireworks for yourself are in there. So also, if you do head over to sirdork.com on my website, uh, there are a few other links here to get some really great stuff. So if you go all the way up to the top here and click on gear, this will kind of get you to the stuff hub of everything you need. So this recommended gear button, that's going to go right to the page where we just went to and had all that stuff where I recommend. And of course, if you need action figures, this is my link to uh, Entertainment Earth, which is my go-to spot for anything, pre-orders, buying stuff in stock love entertainment earth and using this link really helps me out and of course the last one here i'm just going to quickly mention is this is my own kind of merch store that i have created but there is some helpful gear on here as well so yes of course there's the cool the the merch that i have the shoot toys shirts and all that stuff which i don't really like to promote too much but it is on there and it's kind of cool stuff that's made for just toy photographers like the shoot toys one the toy photographer shirt and this one here is a cool backpack that i have made that's good for toy photo gear it's the first toy photo gear backpack that ever exists <laughs> And also, this is one of my favorite things. I have one of these as well. This is the action figure stuff little pouch where all of your little accessories, when you're going out for a shoot, put them in there and they're nice and safe. You can even fit some figures in there as well. It's a perfect size. So I did want to just throw that stuff on there too because it is kind of good gear and that's why I, I made it because I thought it'd be cool for toy photographers to use. So this stuff is on there as well. 
So, like I said, if there was anything else that I didn't mention or don't have on this site that you thought would be really great to have a good recommendation on, let me know, and I will add what I recommend onto this site as well. And if you want to get just go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Sir Dork, or just go to SirDork.com and go to the gear section. Everything is all right there. And thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one.